Hey guys, I want to give you a quick view of what data center connectivity looks like, right? Why is being in a data center so great? Why is it so much better than, for instance, storing your servers on premise at, at, at a customer site or, or at your office or something like that? Well, we'll take a look. I've, I've opened up one of our racks that we have here at the data center. And, and first off, let me show you, there's a lot of them, right? This is, this is one module of, of equipment in our data center. We don't own a lot of these racks, but we definitely own this one, or essentially we're paying for data center space. Now, what I want to show you is, is first off, dropping down here, this represents our incoming connections. This, this is, a, we actually call this our provider edge switch. Each one of these fiber optic cables that are coming in here are actually connected to another carrier, right? So, so that's the beauty of a data center is, in a data center, you have carriers on tap. There's a whole bank of carriers at one end of the data center uh, that, that you can get and you can say, okay, I just want, I want a gigabit uplink connection to Sprint. I want a, a 10 gig connection over to uh, uh, AT&T, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, right? You just, you keep, keep going on with the carriers and you can bring in connections from each one of those carriers to here, right? Now, within here, you can set up things like BGP. You can set up high availability between your devices, set up your redundancy. So all of your provider connections are able to come in and be controlled by you at a cut rate cost. Like if you were to try and get those carriers to come to your office and give you that kind of connectivity, it would cost you a ton because likely they haven't done the construction to get that kind of speed to you. If they have, great, great, right? But you also have, and I, I should mention this, power, right? You've got power coming in that's, that's handled by, by multiple feeds coming into the data center, usually. Usually the data center will also have uh, uh, generators, things like that, that are coming in, right, to keep that online. So this power comes into each one of these modules. This is, if you were to open this up, usually you'll see the, you know, picture of the, the guy dying. Um, this is where you just see, you know, circuit breaker after circuit breaker. Think of like the, the, the fuse box on your house, right? The circuit breakers on your house, right? So this comes in and actually goes across the top. I know you can't see it, it's actually on the other side and feeds the power to all of these different cabinets. Um, one leg of power coming in on this side, one leg coming in on the other side, you know, that, that comes in from a completely different uh, uh, area of the data center, so you have redundant power, right? That's fantastic. So, providers coming in here, think of this as your provider edge. It has edge on there, right? Provider edge, right? That comes in to, to in our case, we've got some outside routers, which then, bring that in to our firewalls, which in this case are some sonic walls that then uh, protect all the different servers that we have running in the data center from evil people that are coming in, right? These guys down here, these are simply the routers that pass the traffic, the routers that run things like BGP to keep everything up and running, right? These guys up here are the firewalls that add the security. That's, that's there's, there's a big difference between those. Then you drop down here, these are the core switches of our data center where all of our servers come in and connect together, right? This is where we do all of our VLANs and, and, and uh, internal communication at the data center to decide what, what communication happens uh, internal to the data center and what communication has to go out to the rest of the data center.